going to show you how to do a, a foxtail check because it's foxtail season. So if you don't know what foxtails are, um, unfortunately that's something that we have a risk where we live in the Bay Area in Northern California. So you always look, I'm looking around the ears, look inside the eyes, look inside the nose. I'm going to check and make sure there's no uh, foxtails in there. Make sure that they're not uh, in between any of the folds or, you know, she has short hair so it's easier. With the long-haired dogs, you're going to have to really look inside and make sure. But sometimes they just go right on the outside and you can grab them right away. Underneath all the armpits, in between each and every single toe, and in between each and every uh, toenail as well. It's really important. Sometimes they can get right into the toenail there. Um, and then you also want to do, I like to flip over and check underneath, uh, in, between, in between all the pads. Um, and really, you know, reach down and feel it. <laughs> Thanks, Scrooby. You want to help? Um, and uh, make sure that you get inside there and look and see if you can find anything. I'm going to go up underneath the genitalia area. Like I said, in, in between all of the legs. Um, underneath where the tail is. Um, you go all the way underneath there. And check every single toe. It's super important. you got to do this every single time. Because foxtails, I mean, at the least... The least terrible thing will happen is that you find one before it goes in, and then you can go ahead and just pull it out and it's no big deal. But if it gets uh, missed, and these are foxtails right here, you'll see them. That's what they look like. It's terrible little evil things, and they're everywhere right now. Um, they actually don't show up on uh, don't show up on X-rays or ultrasounds, and they need to uh, put your, sedate your dog usually to try and get one out. And um, they, when they go into the body in the cavity, they start to travel and twist. And as they go through the body, they create a, um, like a wake of infection behind them. And they can go through the entire body and into the organs. Um, it can be really serious. So it can be life-threatening. Some dogs have died from this. So uh, you want to make sure to check for fox cells every time.